Good evening, I'm back. I'm Jack Remington. I'm your host of Quintessence Productions, LLC. This is our week one NFL 2019 regular season Super Contest video. In order to simulate the Super Contest, you have to pick so You got to pick five games per week against the spread for 17 weeks. And uh, first place is going to pay over a million dollars this year. So we're not, for the second year in a row, we're not going to go because I can't go every weekend. I got other projects. It's always fun to start off week one. We got some notes we're going to talk about here too. The Las Vegas Hilton, Wednesday night. And so the lines are set. And we changed one of our games because there's been a change since the, the line's been set. And we'll get to that in a bit. The lines will be shown before you even put the picks out. So let's start with the five picks. Let's get right to it. The very first pick is the San Francisco 49ers at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, they've had Jamie Swinston as quarterback for Tampa for a couple years now, and he's up and down like a yo-yo. If they can keep him on the field, if he keeps stays out of trouble, he's actually got some talent. Uh, but the 49ers have a different structure. The 49ers are still got the cohesive components from the Harbaugh era, uh, especially on the key components, components of the linebackers in their defense. Uh, but they got Jimmy Garoppolo as the quarterback that they somehow rushed from, the, from this guy, uh, New England Patriots guy. He was this understudy for Tom Brady. This guy's Garoppolo is pretty good. <laughs> he, uh, I'm, I'm impressed with the guy and I'm hard to impress. I think Garoppolo is could easily the top five quarterback in the NFL if he can stay healthy, if he stays on the field. I know going from the West Coast to the East Coast is a trouble trap for some teams, but to get at the gate, I think I think the 49ers are going to come out and, and put Tampa in his place. Uh, the line's been up and down. Tampa opened up as a point and a half favorite, and then the 49ers are a favorite. But when they closed the line here at the West Gate, it was even. And these even games, you must play them in every contest. You must play them if you're going to bet because you don't have to worry about the point spread. You just pick the winner. Okay, the second pick, and the one I'm getting, they're, they're booing me over here. Uh, they, we, got some, we got some Mahomes fans here. Uh, they think he's the greatest thing since uh, Tom Brady uh, to enter the NFL. Uh, Save this video. Mahomes is not. Okay. Now they got a year of tape on this guy. And there's a thing called the sophomore jinx. And, there, and what kind of teams give this give the quarterbacks sophomore jinx? Defensive behemoths. Okay. Forget what Jacksonville did last year. They had Blake Bortles as quarterback. They couldn't score. Okay. But by God, they could shut their teams down pretty good. And they got something to prove. And they got, in my opinion, my opinion, the best general manager in all of football with this guy. Okay, you know who he is? He's a guy that has a habit of beating Tom Brady in Super Bowls. He has a habit of making Brady look just average when they do lose and still cover the spread like Jacksonville did in a couple of them. They were a, a one play away from beating New England and going to the Super Bowl. Everybody forgets that. Well, I didn't forget that, and you shouldn't forget that either. Okay, Jacksonville's a home dog, and... This line is set, Jacksonville plus three and a half at home, host in Kansas City. Everybody's on Kansas City. Over 70% of the money coming in is on Kansas City. Give me Jacksonville. Put, you know, put the dash of salt and pepper on the uh, money line. Do, if you're going to bet $1,000, put 500 on Jacksonville plus three and a half. Put 500 on the money line, and you should be okay. Next game, I'm taking Tennessee plus five. They're at Cleveland. All the Cleveland Browns get all oh, they're gonna. They could possibly win the, the you know the NFC, the AFC. All the Cleveland Browns, all the Cleveland Browns, all the Cleveland Browns. They could possibly win the, the AFC North, and they're gonna beat Baltimore. They're gonna beat Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati's a train wreck. Cleveland at last, Cleveland. They could be right, but they should be favored over anybody until they prove it. I'm gonna see it first. And it's been my experience, experience, 
that when a team is rising from the ashes to climbing up, teams fluctuate like a roller coaster, like the stock market, okay? And right now, Cleveland's hit their little bottom. They, they were a period where they won one game in two years. They turned, they sort of shocked everybody by winning seven games. You know, and they could have won a couple more. So now they're on the way up. But until they get to the plateau, they should be favored over anybody. Tennessee is a veteran team. They, they have made the playoffs as a wild card for a couple years in a row. Broncos picked up Joe Flacco as quarterback. Uh, he he did, did very well at Baltimore. I'm not really sure why they got why Baltimore got rid of Joe Flacco. I know he has hurt for a, for a year or two, uh, but Joe Flacco has got the strongest arm in the NFL. He can push that pigskin down the field. Denver's always had a, they, they, they're known for their defense now, um, and I, I just think I, I just think the Denver Broncos are just a better team than the Oakland Raiders. I think John Gruden he came back for the money. I hate to, I like the guy. He's a, a great coach, um, and he knows a lot about football. Uh, a lot more than I do, but now the uh, Raiders just had some a big distraction by getting rid of this Brown, this uh, Antonio Brown, this wide receiver. I mean, it's all kind. Of, it's been in the news every day, and and so today, just a few hours before we got this, everything set up here, that the Raiders decided to cut him, and and then the line is moving. Now the Broncos are favored by two and a half, and you're going to be able to get the Raiders plus three per, tomorrow. Westgate uh, puts a line, fixes a line. They had this as, as even. Well, if they had to do it right now, they would make Denver a two-and-a-half-point favor. Well, that's to our benefit. And again, like I said, any game you get even, you must, for a contest, doing contests, you must try to just pick the winner. You don't have to worry about, about the point spread. If you're going to be a winner in the, in the NFL handicapping, you got to be able to pick even games.